So this is a quick demo to show that it's possible to uh, shoot a signal down a thousand feet of Ethernet cable and um, get something out the other end. I'm using a real link uh, RLC 410 camera and this audio is actually being recorded through the camera. Um, I'm using a PoE switch which has the ability to um, have the data transfer rate um, reduced which helps it to get a signal out when conditions are not optimal which 1000 feet of cable is way longer than the um, 300 foot specification. Uh, I'm not recommending that anybody do uh, you routinely use a thousand feet of cable, but it's it's a proof of recorded on via a thousand foot um, outdoor Cat5 cable uh, running into a small POH power over Ethernet router switch. Um, this is this is a known brand um, Chinese router switch off of Amazon and I, I say no name in Chinese because there doesn't seem to be a major brand like you know Netgear or what have you but uh, they come and go with similar uh, specifications so I can't just sort of specify that it's like one thing because you might not be able to get it in a month, a month or so. So, so the main feature that, that I've been finding in these models is is a switch which um, allows you to push a signal further by uh, re reducing the transmission speed and possibly focusing and limiting where the power of the Ethernet goes. Um, the, the cable here is, okay, so with Ethernet cables, the specification is to be able that the routers and router switches should be able to send a signal 300 feet or 100 meters. Um, and that's the longest cable that you can buy with connectors and, and, and attached. I think those are patch cables. So what I did was I bought a thousand foot reel of um, outdoor Cat5 cable and this stuff is um, the, the, the individual wires are straight copper rather than copper over aluminum because I figured I'd pay the extra for um, better power transmission features, less power loss, and possibly the same for the data. So, so the router switch has, the, um, has this option of, of decreasing the speed, and they claim uh, that, that in this AI mode, you can pump a signal 250 meters or 800 feet. So my 1,000 feet is, is over that. I am managing, as you can see, to get a signal, um, but it's kind of iffy, and I really don't recommend trying this. It's just a proof of principle. But, um, you know, when the season is rolling, and I know where I want to put my new cameras, I'll be cutting this cable. Uh, the the way that it's set up and what's working is that the the router switch is connected by the by the orange cable to my main router and the, the black cable um, that you can see attached to the router box up top is is going to the camera. Uh, I, as I say, I put I put um, connectors on either end of the reel. Um, so this way works. Um, and it, but it only works if I have if I'm in daylight in color I'm running uh, in the slow mode and to illustrate that I'm going to flip 
it over to normal mode and we're going to lose the signal at that point and then um, I'll splice the video to get together a little later. Okay. You should be able to tell how long it took to come back. Uh, it took at least 13 seconds, maybe less. It's been up to a minute at times. Um, I get the impression that, that forming the initial handshake is is more of a problem than uh, continuing the signal. I guess that's that, that might be related to the compression um, that has to go on with with an IP protocol, um, you know, the H.264 or whatever it's called, um, you know, forming the framework. So um, this works with the with the outdoor cable uh, connected into the um, the router switch uh, to the to the camera. Um, the the other the other way of testing it, where the thousand foot cable is linked to the um, is is like the upload side. Um, it didn't work very well when I tried that. It maybe did sometimes, uh, but then other times I didn't get any signal. And when I tried plugging it into a PC, so so I plugged the black cable. Um, okay, yeah, I I plugged I took the black cable from my main router, switch my main router and plugged it into a PC and I was having trouble getting a signal. Um, if I if I looked at the LEDs on my Nighthawk router, then you could see that, that at times it it had no light showing for the particular port. And at other times it had dropped down from white to amber and that's an indication that it's trying to drop the speed from gigabyte to 100 megabyte um, for that one. Um, sometimes, sometimes I was getting data in the PC, even though it didn't look like I was showing uh, that I had a connection at the PC. Um, looking, you know, look, looking at the the networking icon. Uh, but basically, it was iffy and it barely worked on it at least one occasion. Um, so the point there probably is that that main partly is that, that uh, uh, I, I dropped the speed from say 100 to 100 megabytes down to 10 or 1 megabyte. Um, this I think I got it to work at night um, in grayscale with the router on the full speed setting rather than on this extended mode. And the point there is that um, probably that's because the, um, the grayscale consumes less bandwidth than than color like RGB, so you know it's, it's probably at least a, a third, third of the amount of data um, trying to squeeze down the cable. Um, so this gives you a feel for what the the what's possible at the extremes, but I'll update this later when I start cutting the cable down um, to say 400 or 500 feet. Um, I'm, I'm expecting that that will work fairly well.